So, hello everyone. I've had many requests to uh, make a little video on how I made this uh, flower bottle opener. It's a pretty straightforward design, pretty quick and easy to make, but uh, you need a, a few tools for that. Um, I will be making uh, the bottle opener from uh, flat bar mild steel. It is a 20 by 10 millimeter flat bar. Um, that's gonna be my, my resource and to make this round part in the middle you'll have to make yourself a, a sort of punch that is hollow here and has a sharp rim and the second tool which you will actually make first so this is kind of like a round punch it's just a dome shaped tool and with this you can actually create yourself this tool and with this tool you make the middle part and with this tool you forge these dents here. You will also need a, just a regular chisel and uh, for making the bottle opener end we'll take a slot punch, a an undersized slot opener drift, a true size drift, and we will also maybe use a hand fuller. To start off with, I'm going to fuller the material, and uh, I'll be using this sort of guillotine fuller, but you can also use top and bottom fuller. Or what you could also what you could also do to set up the material is just hold it in an angle and use the cross pin and the edge of your anvil to do the for the same result. Okay, let's get to work. Okay, so I'm taking a about a square portion of of steel like this. I'm setting it off. Make sure to turn it around every time so it's not going to be lopsided with this type of tool because it does hit at an angle. Now it's cupping, so I'm straightening it on the anvil. Now I can continue. easy to go too far with this tool so I'm stopping now I'm taking another heat now I can start approaching the shoulder on the far side of the anvil over the round edge to chop it up. Now I can straighten it and tidy it up with my flat die. I cleared that shot and the next step I can start forming the hexagon for the flower. Okay. Taking, a, taking it to the slightly rounded corner, hitting the top corners here. Always make sure that you have good support.
sure that it is somewhat equal. I'll take another heat to equalize it up a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, in the next heat I'm going to offset this like that so this part here is going to become thinner than the part I'm going to make the flour out of. So over a slightly rounded edge here. Just tapering this. Now I'm taking the hollow punch to the middle. Hopefully I can score a bullseye here. Hit. And I made this tool a little bit in a rush so it's not perfect. But I'm turning it with every hit, so minor imperfections are kind of going to be corrected automatically by itself. Okay, now it looks like this. And now I'm taking a chisel, I'm just going to the corners. Here. And here. And here. And here. And here. And here. And here. The divisions are never really perfect but this is how it looks now and in the next heat we're going to take the ball fuller and forge out the leaves of the flower so making sure it lays flat and I'm coming from the inside ridge I'm giving it a hit. And this is not something you just do in one heat. This is done gradually. So now I'm pretty much just laying it out. Like this. Now I can make it hot again and continue fullering.
And yes, it does get hot in your hand. I'll give it a punch over that work piece. take here maybe that can be still corrected okay now next heat what I'm going to do is use the dished punch again and forge this again and also go over the cuts here again You don't cut through it and you don't cut into the middle. So just like this. On top of those ridge lines. You want to take your time with this. what I'll do is I will start again here and then I will draw out this edge of the flower leaves just a little bit more and I don't have to go very far on this anymore of course you could make them as thin as on a real flower if you would like to do that but um, I'm not going to do that much work with it so um, and I put a little nick in, into the middle so I will go back with this one and hope to cover that up just a little bit just a little bit vanishing it I'm losing heat here it's still enough I'll heat it up a little bit more to do the remaining ones. You always gotta remember the thinner it gets, the faster it heats up. So you really don't wanna be almost done and then just burn the living crap out of your workpiece because it heats up double as fast as in the beginning. I'm just looking to make it look nice and even as far as possible to me. Okay. Other heat to reduce the middle just a little bit more. So 
to the very top left leaf. Need some more work. to a wooden stump and come from the back with the ball fuller to dish it a little bit. Place it here and then just gently give it some texture. Now I'm taking an undersized slot opener punch. Making sure that the walls are supported by the party um, by the bridge hole hole like this. So this opened up the slot and in the next heat we can start to punch it to full size. Uh, to Drift it to full size. And from the other side. And don't go too far. You can see it's getting very black there. You don't want to tear tear your hole apart. Taking another heat for that. The other side. Now we are through. Make a nice hole. Now I can open up that hole on my on the horn of my anvil. So when you're cutting it off, it is very important that you're not cutting it too thin. You can always like forge in when it's a little bit uh, too thick. But when you cut it too thin, you know it's not going to look very nice. And in the worst case, it's you know going to cut into your ring or something. off like this. I'm going to clean this up on my belt grinder right now. You could also use a file or a rasp to clean that up. So this is not so easy to film. But first of all you place it here and you knock in those ears. Hope I'm not covering too much of the image. Make sure that that lights in and be careful because it can shoot out of your tongs really quickly when, when doing that. I don't have like the perfect tongs to hold this. Knock those over first. Flatten it on the anvil. Okay, now you can take your round die, if you have one, and start forging down these diagonals here. You 
can really move around your anvil and move that thing around so it works. Just make sure it doesn't like fly into your eye or even worse like hit some sort of innocent bystander. Taking some heat. These box jar tongs seem to fit a lot better, so now I'm going over the middle again. Go on the corners again. I'm putting it on the flat. Finish these flats. And going over the middle again. Vanishing it a little bit. Make sure it doesn't look too rough. Okay. to make the lip that actually lifts the bottle cap. I'm taking this round fuller. I'm starting back here, making sure I'm fairly centered, giving it a whack, making this dent here. Now I'm walking it down into the ring. You can see every blow I'm dragging the material from back here down there I can actually take a little bit of heat as I don't want to rupture it because that would suck, it splits, but it's already getting there, pretty close. We'll be drawing that down just a little bit more. Solely for decorative purposes, I'm going to extend that fuller a little bit with a fuller up into the flower stem. Did that on the last one and I thought it looked kind of neat. Doing that 
position with the ball filler again. Now I'm brushing it, and I will flatten it, and now I'll go ahead and make this a flat or a flat turret to give it that typical bottle opener shape. Also make sure that it is fairly equal. So you know if your bottle opener does not work, it usually has something to do that this is either too wide or too shallow. So if your bottle opener for some reason doesn't work, either fold it down a little bit more or open it up a little bit more again. I will just fold it down just a little bit more and then it should be perfect. Neat. Also put in my touch mark now. I think here's a good spot. Okay, now the last step will be to give this a gentle curve and clean it all up and drop it before that, of course. So putting it on my wood stump here with the back facing up and with my round die I'm just gently giving it some curvature. Okay, last thing to do is I'll heat it up and then I will wire wheel it in my vise, hot, so it gets that nice blue shiny color. see if it works. It's a bottle opener, just a regular German beer bottle. Let's hope that it works. Yep, comes right off. Cheers.